Pantodari viewers, uh, Pantodari, day two, yes, and at the end of day two, we've reached the end of act one, unbeflipping believable. we've had a great day today, and um, lots of comedy routines, worked and stuff with the other performers, because like we've been doing our comedy routines, and then we walk away, but now we know what comes next, so we've been integrating so that's been great fun today uh, let me tell you a little bit about our storyline of the dick whittington which if you've never seen this pantomime before is really exciting dick is a country lad who goes to london to seek his fame and fortune because he thinks the streets are paved with gold but london is under an infestation of rats controlled by king rat who is such a baddie you will boo him and then there's an adventure where they all go to uh, Morocco and meet the Sultan. Lots of stuff going on. It's a great pantomime. Lots of excitement. Lots of cheering and booing. The dancing in this show and the songs are awesome. So it's a great adventure for the whole family. So do come and see us. We're at the Plymouth Theatre Royal from December the 14th to January the 12th. One well, day. Andrew for remembering that. And um, I'm going to try and bring as much of the backstage stuff to you as we prepare for our pantomime to go to Plymouth next week. So we're in London for about five or six days, then we go to Plymouth. Now, I'm going to try and catch up with some of the main performers and do some interviews. Everyone said yes, they're happy to come on to the Pantodari. And today I met uh, the love of Dick Whittington's life, Alice Fitzwarren, played by the lovely Daisy Twells. And we sat down together in between rehearsals. We had a quick break and she had a chat with me. Here it is. Hello, Pantal Diary viewers. I'm with our Alice Fitzwarren from our wonderful pantomime in Plymouth, Dick Whittington. It's Daisy Twells. Hello, Daisy. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good, actually. Good. I'm quite exhausted today, but it's been really good. We've got a lot of stuff done. Yes. Is this... Your first pantomime? This is my second panto with Kudos. And um, I did it as a juvenile as well. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's only a few years ago because you're quite young now. <laughs> Long to ask a lady your age. Right. Um, so, so you were in the chorus, the juvenile chorus, I assume. Yeah. And what was the pantomime? Oh, I did four, I think. Um, did you know? Yeah, I think I did uh, Jack and Beanstalk. Right. So they and were all we quite go. memorable. Yeah. And all of, all of those are the ones that I can't remember. <laughs> Snow White, um, Aladdin, and... And now you're doing Dick Whittington. And so, well, you've done the whole gambit then. Yeah, I've done So it's the first lead row in the to my hand. Second. Second. What was the other one? I did Jasmine last year. Did you? Yeah. In Aladdin? Yeah. Fantastic. And who were you with last time? I was with Kev Johns. Oh yes, I know Kev. Um, Tony Maudsley. Yeah. And Matt Edwards. And what do you think of this year's troop? What we have? I think we've got a really it's talented good, bunch. Yeah. And we're all lovely people. <laughs> it, it says here. Um, so, are you getting on working with our wonderful Dick Whittington? His lovely voice. Oh, he's great. It's nice because it's his first panto, and I felt like that last year. Oh no, you need to do another one. So, yeah, so it's nice to see him. Uh, him learning like the ways of panto and how different it is to what we usually do, yeah. and it's And did you find it a real change when you moved from doing chorus to doing lead? Is it a um, completely different thing? I mean, I always wanted to do of course. lead when I was looking up to them when I was younger. Yeah, but, well, you were um, quite short then, so that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. But it's, yeah, it's lovely. Good. It's really nice. Well, you're a natural at it, and oh, uh, what, you. watching you and John sing together, I mean, it's just lovely. And we're going to have a great time in Plymouth. Have you been in Plymouth before? No, I've never been. You're going to flip and love it. I'm from Devon. It's great down there. We've got electric and everything. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, That's so you're, great. You're, you're going to have a great time. Listen, this young lady is fantastic. A great voice, great oh, time. Thank you. A great little bit of acting. And we even had a little moment together, didn't we? Yeah, first time today. Yeah. First time we're going to sing together today. Because I'm a brilliant actor. That's, that's <laughs> one of my young attributes. I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian. <laughs> Did you see? She mm. said it. She can't take it back. Thank you for coming to say hello. As we get okay. closer to showtime, would you come in again and have another quick word? I'd love to. Just Maybe to in costume. You know. Yeah, in costume. In great. the full shebang. Shebang. And then you can let people know how it's changed from rehearsals in London yeah. to when we actually get to the theatre. Yeah, in a week's time, probably. Yeah, I know it's going to fly yeah. by. Daisy, love her. Thank you Thank very you. much for coming in. That's and we better right. get back to rehearsals or a cup of tea. Yes. What a wonderful young lady, a real talent and a pleasure to interview. There will be more interviews coming up with other members 
of the cast and the director said he's gonna have a chat with me as well so hopefully and he's the choreographer as well so I have a great chat with him maybe some backstage people as well some of the dancers are gonna have a chat as many people as possible that make the show happen I want to bring to you so you can find out a little bit how the magic is made but uh, whatever you do keep watching our panto diary and if you can go to www.its-behind-u.com is the website, a great pantomime website, and there's a blog um, about this panto, so you can watch the panto diary, you can have a look at the blog, and apparently there's a podcast from um, Johnny Partridge, our wonderful King Rat. So there's lots of ways to keep up with what's happening in Plymouth. Just before I go, I'm going to read you another joke. This one made me laugh as well. This is a competition being run by the Theatre Royal in Plymouth. And today the joke comes from Kate Entwistle. <laughs> this made me laugh, right? I went to the opticians today. He said, I'm colorblind. Well, it came as a real bolt out of the orange. <laughs> that do make me laugh. Well done, Kate. Don't know if you're going to win. Going to do one every day, and the winner will have their joke featured in the pantomime, probably said by me. Who knows? Right, that's it for today. Day two. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, which will be day three. I'm brilliant at mass. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Take care, will you? Thank you.